you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. <laughs> okay, today we're gonna do an unboxing. Um, I have been sent a box from Page Habit, and I am gonna be reviewing their boxes every month because I am a brand ambassador. And let me explain to you what that means. That means that I get sent a box of my choice. They have many, many different genres, and you can go on their website, I will link it below. This is one of my favorite subscription boxes that are books, and that's no BS, um, even though I, you know, get a little coin if y'all go buy it with my code. But the reason why it's one of my, <laughs> I mean, you have to be honest about that, okay? So you can't be doing these unboxings and have affiliate links and not be honest about it. I am always honest about it. So anyway, I mean, let me tell you why it's one of my favorite things. First of all, I always said I would never endorse products that I don't believe in. I don't feel like they fill it with a bunch of crap, first of all. I feel like it is appropriately priced for what you get. And um, and now I don't remember what it is, but I talked about it in my last video and I linked it below. I linked all my inf all the information below. And they have just been such a joy to work with so far. Like they have you know, sent me a lot of information and they're like, oh, you can change your box anytime you want. And they've just been super cool. And one of my big things about businesses especially subscription boxes if you go over to my main channel I have talked about Blue Apron eh. I've talked about Hunt a Killer eh. although Hunt a Killer did reach out to me afterwards and they were very very nice but one of the things I cannot stand okay about subscription boxes a lot of times is that it is extremely difficult to maneuver the website and if you want to cancel your subscription you can't and if you want to talk to somebody from the company it's like almost impossible to do that it's like you have to send up sometimes you have to like write a letter true story okay there's no phone there's no phone number there's no contact information or whatever page habit is not like that and i love them so anyway this is my December box, which I got like at the end of December. So that's why I'm talking about now. I opened it, but I did not look inside. I love these boxes so much. It's so fun, right? Okay. So the first thing I got, Pee Pee is sitting here. He says, I think that I would like to be in this video to show my new bandana that I got. He just got back. He just got back from the uh, dog groomer. He got groomed today. Well, he got a bath and he got a nail trim. And he got this winter bandana that has a little snowman on it. He said, I'm very happy today. So the first thing you get when you open it is um, a little letter. The truth beneath the lies has real people at its core. But then I layered on all the things, oh, this is from the author. But then I layered on all the things that fascinate me. Characters struggling against seemingly insurmountable odds, hidden motivations, vivid, gritty landscapes, psychological twists and lies that bury the truth. It is a, oh, this sounds good. It is a book that was hard to write, but it's so close to my heart. I am truly honored to have The Truth Beneath the Lies included in this box. I hope you enjoy it. The other thing I want to say about this box, because it's just reminded me of this, is like, I feel like with a lot of other like book boxes, it's always very popular books. And so I'm afraid, like, like I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I did you see I almost said somebody else's but like I am hesitant to buy those boxes because what if I already have a book you know what I mean and then I've wasted my money on a subscription box so you get a little letter from the author which I think a lot of those do that but you get that okay the first thing that you get is copper string lights oh my god so me and PP are gonna hang these up a little bit later and then you get this uh, keychain that says I am an I need my readers on this. <laughs> it says reader. I am a omnivorous reader. Oh my lord, this is like an eye test. With a strangely detective re retentive memory for trifles, I think is what it's. it's I can't read it, you guys. I don't, ha I don't have readers yet because my eye doctor said I don't need them, but I swear I do. Okay, so let me get this out. Now, I actually do need a keychain for my office because I just broke my other keychain. So that's probably what I... Oh, and it has a little thing on it. It has a little uh, pen, like qu quill pen. Oh, I love that. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'll use that for. Okay. And then the next thing... Well, first of all, there's this... I don't know what this is. What does this say? Unwind. Oh my God, unwind. <gasps> Surprise ball inside... Ball for prizes. I love surprises. Oh my god, how cool is this? I love this kind of stuff. Okay. Four surprises. In, these better not be junk surprises or I'm going to be real over it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. Keep on unwinding. 
a long and winding road. <laughs> oh my God, it just goes on forever and ever and ever. I feel like I'm knitting. I'm knitting. <laughs> I'm knitting a mitten. <laughs> oh my God, come on forever and a day. This is so fun. I mean, seriously though, okay? This is like my mom and she thought it was real funny when she would like wrap a present and she put it in like five different boxes. It wasn't cute. It'd be like some cookies or something. She just thought it was so fun, you know? Well, I guess those are the small details that make life. Okay. Oh my God, the first thing you get is a sticker and it says, wow. Oh no, I think it's a tattoo. Temporary tattoo. PP, I'm putting this on you. No, not really. Do you get it? Stick that. Oh, that better not be it. I'm gonna be so livid. Oh! You get a little crystal. A little crystal look. I'm like, it's like a mukbang, <laughs> but not, because you can't eat it. Okay, and then, you get this little parts popper. This is like for when you have like New Year's. Oh, it is jank. Paige had it. I'm so pissed. That would have been such a cute moment on my video. <laughs> Paige Abbott, you screwed yourself. That would have been such a cute moment. Okay, but that was a cute idea. I like it. <laughs> Woo! Love, exciting, and new. Do you remember on the love boat when they would like throw that stuff at the end of it? I love that show so much. Okay, there's more of it. And then they went to Acapulco. They always went to Acapulco. Why though? <laughs> okay. I mean, nothing against Acapulco. I mean, if you live there, I'm sure it's great. But like, why would you always want to go there on a cruise? It was like, <laughs> Chara was always there. Okay. A Wider Shade of Christmas by Taylor Grant. Short story commissioned in partnership with our friends at Great Jones Street. Enjoy. Paige have it. And it's a little short story about Christmas. And you guys know that I love the Christmas stories. And even though Christmas is over, I'm still going to read it. Okay. And then I want to tell you about these bookmarks, okay? I have been using my Page Habit bookmark from last month, true story, um, constantly because it's laminated. I love it. Page Habit. Bing. And this one says, fill your house with stacks of books and all the crannies and all the no <gasps> I love that so much! Oh my god, because I do that. Like, I have areas in the kitchen, and people think it's crazy. And speaking of uh, going to England, this is funny. Did I say something about going to England? Oh, I was talking about, like, in England, they do those on New Year's. They're called crackers, I think. But anyway, years ago, my friend Jenny and I went to go visit her sister. And her sister lived in um, London at the time. She painted the cells on The Thief in the Baghdad. Did you ever see that movie? Anyway, so we went to go visit her over New Year's. And when I went to her house, which was, like, one, like, her house was, like, really, it was, like, small, like, in the city. And it was, like, one room and then a staircase, one room and then a staircase and one run room. And every room had just stacks and stacks of all these books that she had read. I was like, oh, I want stacks of books in my house. So I agree with that. Fill your house with stacks of books and all the crannies and all the nooks. See the things you think about if you were only subscribed to Page Habit? Okay. One ten percent want ten percent off your next book, your next box. Join our referral program. So see if you join it, then you can talk all about it. And then they talk in here about the for the month of December has chosen to work alongside books for Africa. I talked a lot about that in my last video. You guys can all go check that out. Okay. Now, here is the time we've all been waiting for. Look inside for my annotations. Okay, which I totally did not understand the first time. See, I'm catching on to this thing. That's the thing with these boxes, okay? You have to do them enough that you catch on to them. Okay. The truth behind the lies. My new ring light is kind of like shining off of it because it's so glittery. I love it. Okay. Now, this is what you have to do on covers. You have to check inside and see if there's another cover, which there's... <gasps> oh! Look at that! I mean, the highlighter on that is gorgeous. Okay. So, anyway, that is beautiful. Let's read the inside cover and see what this is all about. Well, first of all, let's see who the author is. The author is Amanda... Amanda... What does it call her? Amanda Bull. Amanda Searcy. Earned a, P, a BA from New Mexico State University and an MA in Human Rights from the University of Essex in England. This is basically all about England. Okay. She works in collection development for a public library system and loves chocolate. I mean, who doesn't? Cats. They're aliens. And curling up with a good book. Me too. She lives in New Mexico. Visit her online at amandasearcybooks.com and follow her on Twitter at... Uh, okay. So anyway... Let's see. Okay, first of all, let's see what this one person says. Karen McManus, New York Times bestselling author of One of Us is Lying. She said, a smart, suspenseful, and unpredictable thriller that will keep readers turning pages until every last lie is revealed. I can't stand liars. 
I've dealt a lot with liars lately and I just can't stand them. They need to get out of my life. Okay. Flight. All Kayla Asher wants to do is run. Run from the government housing complex she calls home. Run from her unstable mother. Run from a desperate job at No Limit Foods. Run to a better, cleaner, safer life. Every day is one day closer to leaving. Fight. All Betsy Hopeful wants to do is survive. Survive the burner phone hidden under her bed. Survive her new rules. Survive a new school with new classmates. Survive being watched. Every minute grants her another moment of life. But when fate brings Kayla and Betsy together, only one girl will live. I... Oh my, I am living for this. This sounds so good. This is totally something that I would love. I just read the M in the night and it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Okay. And then if you go in here, see, like the author has annotations, which I think is so cool. It's like, I have been this, I have, oh, she talks about, it must have something to do with the librarian here. Cause she says, I have been this librarian. Shh. I think that's so cool. I mean, we don't know the context, right? I had planned a meet cute for these two, but Jordan took over and told me how it was going to be. See, that's when like, I was talking about this in my other video when your characters, like they tell you how a story should go. I am living for this. Okay, thank you so much, Paige Hab Habit. Thank you so much, Paige Habit. If I had a pageant for books, oh, wait, okay, I was gonna make a little song. If I had a habit for books, I'd have to read every day. And thank you, Paige Habit, for sending me your boxes this way. Oh, that was kind of cute. Okay, so anyway, here it is. Here's the mess when you're all done. <laughs> what it looks like, looks like Christmas morning, doesn't it? I love these boxes. Anyway, so this is the book you get. These little lights. I might string those back there for when I do videos and stuff. Who knows? And then you get this little tattoo that says, Wow! <laughs> this was fun. Okay, I'm going to link all their information below. Go check it out. I have a code. It's called Peter. <laughs> I don't know how they came up with that code. But if you put that in at the end, you get, I think, free shipping or five, $5 off of shipping or in the United States only. Um, and you also get, I don't know, it says it in my last video too. You can go watch my last page habit video. You should because it's real cute and why wouldn't you? And, um, and I will link it at the end if I remember. <laughs> and then, or if you don't get $5 off of shipping and handling, you get $5 off your total order or something like that. So anyway. And then if you want, you can snap it, give it, and read it. Post a picture of your unboxing with the My ha Page Habit tag and we will donate another book to a child without asking. Access. Oh my god, I'm doing that. I'm doing that today. In fact, let's do it right now while I'm on video and we can just prove it to the world. Okay. Won't that be so cute? And I mean, I am sitting in front of my ring light, so you guys are like, Peter, you've lost your mind. Okay, no, I haven't. I haven't lost my mind at all. I'm perfectly sane. <laughs> okay, wait a second. I'm like shaking. Okay, so I am going to post this. I don't really care for that picture. Do you care for that picture? I guess it's cute. Anyway, go check out my Instagram, Peter Likes Books. It's linked below, or my main Instagram, which is called Peter Mon, and you will find this picture on one of those hashtag with my page habit so that they can give a book to a child or a box or whatever they give to a child without access because I think that is really, really cool. And I like any business that has a purpose. So check out Page Habit. It's amazing. The link is below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.